Hey guys, October has come to an end, so that means we are sharing with you things that we have been loving in the month of October. I actually have some really good signs this month. Me too. Good. I don't know anything about what you have, so um, September was a little boring, um, but October I think makes Made up, up for, for it. it. Yeah. Yeah. So how about you get started? Okay. Um, should I start with my most excited one? I'll leave that for last. Okay. So I have been struggling lately with um, remembering the care instructions for the different garments that I make. Oh my gosh. And I think <laughs> that that is just kind of a derivative of trying new fabrics mm -hmm. and not using the same ones. And so when you branch out into different kinds of fabrics, obviously the care instructions are going to change. They're not always going to yeah. be you know, wash on cold and dry on low. So I've been dealing, that's why I said, oh my gosh, just because I am just thinking this too. Uh -huh. I was like, I got, well, I also got that huge order from Stonemaker uh -huh. Fabrics and I, so I was going on her website and just making notes mm -hmm. of how things to, you know, mm -hmm. need care for. So I'm really excited to see what yeah. you're about to show so me. So I went <laughs> on Etsy and surprisingly I had a really hard time finding um, tags for everything, mm -hmm. but I ended up finding some from Shoe Shoe Style and I'm 99% sure I got every one that they have. So I have a dry clean only one. I Ooh. have a machine wash cold, tumble dry low, remove promptly. I have one that talks about um, laying flat to dry, uh -huh. hang to dry, whatever one she had. So I got those them all. were pre-selected that you could, you didn't like customize. Those. Nope. Pre-selected. Um, I remember them They're being awesome. pretty affordable, and they come in packs of fifty. I mean, good lord, I probably have them. So you have to buy fifty of all the same thing. Yes, fifty of all the oh. same thing. Do you want to see all of them? Or I just uh, pulled out one, but no. But I was just thinking we could totally split this. <laughs> oh, I got it. I'll pay you okay. for half. Maybe we will. Will you ever make fifty things that need machine wash, cold, uh, tumble dry? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. So um, yeah, that's something we can arrange. I think we just. Sorry, shoe shoe style. I was trying to get you a new customer, but <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, they came really promptly, and they're you know the same quality you would find in your rage wear garments. So. So awesome. yeah, I care instruction tags are, are my new jam just to help me. So have you been putting them in? Since you got I haven't made anything since I got them. Oh. Yeah, but I will. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Yeah, okay. two of my things that are coming up for the November makes video. One, it they're two different instructions, so I'll be able to use two. Very cool. <laughs> two out of a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. So my first thing I want to talk to you about is the Indie Sew Fall Winter Fabric and Pattern Release. I've always been a huge fan of Indie Sew. Um, I get to blog for them, but this release just went above and beyond for me compared to all of the releases. I don't know, I was never really excited about mm -hmm. a lot of the releases, but for some reason this one just really was all about me. Mm -hmm. um, so I just loved every pattern. I also think the way they styled mm -hmm. things, um, the photography was so nice, mm -hmm. it just really drew me in. Um, so I got four of the patterns. Yeah, so um, the Chai Town skirt, I'm going to be making that. And I also got the expansion pack to make um, the Chai Town Chino pants. And what I'm wearing right now, mm -hmm. the toaster sweater um, by So House 7. I really, really love this one. This was a nice quick kind of easy sew um, and then the Lone Tree vest and well it's, it can be a vest or a jacket but I'm going to be making a vest so I also um, this fabrics not from them but I ordered a bunch of the fabric um, from the collection so I got some of the corduroy and the twill um, I got the striped and I also got um, something to make the pants and I love how everything all coordinates together so everything that I'm making out of the collection is all going to like Mix like and a match together. Wardrobe. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, which I'm not, that's really not my thing. I love everything mm -hmm. and I'm not very good at, you know, capsule type wardrobe. But I think um, that everything's going to just look so good together. I'm really, really excited about that. Yeah, it's so, really cute. Look for that to be coming up. Cool. Um, my next one is, um, well, it's library books. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> Basically, I have been daydreaming about making a tailored like pea coat, trench coat for a few months now and was really kind of overwhelmed with um, all of the techniques that go into making something like that. So I went to my local library and I checked out the um, tailoring for jackets book 
and took it with me on my trip to Quebec and read it on the plane. People were giving me funny looks like, why, what does she do? She seems so interesting looking at her sewing book on the airplane. It was really kind of weird. But, <laughs> um, but after that, I, you know, I really started to look at it as like a test run of the book because now I want to go buy that tailoring book. I know that it's really good um, and you know, my, check it out in my library for free yeah. and see what it was like. Yeah. So I went to my library, a different one, a different branch that has a bigger one and I found two other books. They had probably five or so that I wanted but um, you know, I was just trying to keep it simple. So I got one for um, Serger Shortcuts because that sounds cool. And then I got one for 101 Sewing Secrets. Ooh. So I thought that both of these would be something I can kind of just flip through while I'm sitting on my patio, enjoying our 90 degree weather. <laughs> and just so you guys know, um, we are wearing sweatshirts, sweaters today. <laughs> my car said 88 when I got out to come to Lindsay's house. <laughs> It, we just love them so much. We, we We're trying to like be with all you guys that are in the north, but I mean, anyone in the south, I saw Blink Slate Patterns was talking about how yeah. it's still so hot in Texas. Yeah. Um, We're not so, the only ones. Yeah, but anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, these are just kind of just flip through, and I don't, I doubt I'll buy these, but you know, yeah. So your library is like a really good resource. I've never thought about that for sewing books. I mean, it's not a huge selection mm -hmm. of sewing books, but. I mean, they have a bunch, and um, a lot of like really popular brands have written sewing books. Um, I went with our friend Amber to the library has an annual book sale, and we picked out probably 15 sewing books from that sale, sorted through them all. We only mm -hmm. ended up buying about eight. That sounds like a lot, but <laughs> four each. Um, so yeah, I mean, they just have so much stuff there. I yeah. just thought. It was really great. So I'll look through these and I'll return them and I'll get something else and very cool. Yeah, make Let my way through find something good. all of them. Yeah, I totally will. They have all the ones that have all the patterns mm -hmm. and supposedly there's some like within the checkout process that when they check the books back in, they double check to make sure the patterns are still there. So technically you could trace off the patterns and you know, an advanced sewer that knows how to make things without instructions mm -hmm. or keep the book long enough to make the, anyways, you can <laughs> make yeah, you can use the sewing patterns. They're yeah. all still in there. That's really cool. Yeah, I thought so too. Good. So, yeah, books. sewing books. Okay, so my next thing um, kind of goes a little bit with previous topic of indie sew, new patterns. So a lot of the projects that I'm wanting to make require um, materials that are hard to source locally. Um, there's lots of different things um, that are hard to find. So um, specifically the materials you need for the Lone Tree jacket and vest. So um, do you remember going to Pacific Trimmings? Mm -hmm. They have a website. I didn't know that. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Well, they have drawstring cord in a million different colors. Um, the jacket requires the drawstring cord at the waist, just like your Kelly Anorak jacket did. Mm -hmm. um, so I really wanted it to match. Sunny, there's no treats in it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's still a little tricky to, um, you know, pick the exact right color online, but it's so cheap. It was like $2 or $3 for the drawstring. And I make tons of sweatpants and mm -hmm. sweatshirts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if it doesn't match, I figured, well, I'll just use mm -hmm. it for something else. So I got navy because I'm going to be making the navy vest. Um, and then I have a dark olive like yours. I copied mm -hmm. yours. So this didn't match, that was a fail, big fail. But does it have to be a perfect match? No, but this is a shade of green that I actually thought looked, looked really nice with it because it's like a goldish green and I'm mm -hmm. gonna use gold snaps on it. So I kind of thought that would look mm -hmm. nice with it. And then I ordered cream just in case <laughs> cream matches anything. Well, and your, with your cream and gray um, sweatshirt fabric. Yeah, so I bought gray too, and all that. Because I yeah. thought of that gray yeah. um, sweatshirt fabric. So in case I decide to make sweatpants with it, yeah. like I said, I might. Yeah. I've got gray. So, and it's really nice quality. It's cotton. Um, you can order the exact yardage you want. So I got two yards of each. So I just thought that was really cool. I have never seen this at Joann's. I don't know why they don't carry drawstring cord. And they, they sell. They do. They do. But it's very, like, three it's colors. Not, yeah, it's not. The, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. And it, for, it's that shinier, more sporty one. I've seen the what I've seen has been the shinier mm -hmm. sporty one um, and the other option is cotton twill tape they sell like cream cotton twill yeah tape. that's it 
Yeah. Um, so that's unfortunate. But anyways, <laughs> too bad for them. To go with the drawstring yeah, cord. Yeah, these things I want so bad. Yes. So um, at the end of the drawstring, you know, you can put these really pretty little um, metal. I forget what the exact term for them is. I want to call Draw them stop stopper cord stopper. I don't know. cord stopper. No, that's, that's the good. or is that the other one? Cord end. Uh, it might just be called like a cord end. Let me, you you go on. Yeah, I'm gonna find I got the receipt in there. Anyway, so they have um, cord ends. Metal I've got bell cord ends. Metal bell cord. They come in different sizes, different shapes. Um, so I got gold, silver, and antique brass. They're all falling on the floor. After being in their store, this is a really surprising looking invoice to I me. Know. It's like very professional. Well, you know what though? They, I hate to say this, but they forgot the black. So I'm going to have to call them. I ordered oh. black. They forgot it. Yes. But I'm sure their customer service will be great. <laughs> <laughs> they do go ahead and it was here. super fast shipping too guys I came in like two to three days from New York City all so right. well I know where I'll be doing tonight. yeah so they have all the cord stoppers and they look really nice they're so cheap they're like yeah, a so dollar to a dollar how did you G. know because I struggle with knowing which size okay of a hole. so this I knew was four millimeter so I was like well I guess I need the four millimeter stopper okay. and you do but you do have to lick the ends first you know to no, get them to get it oh good idea or use your spit like I have did. <laughs> but they do fit. So the four millimeter fit. That's cool. um, The four millimeter um, hardware. Do they have different, I'm sorry, I'm like obsessed with your favorite. Um, do they have different looking ones or Not just these kind of those. looking ones? Um, um, yeah, those were really the only shape of those. But okay. they had a couple different of the cord ends okay. besides the bell. And did, was, you need a tool for that? How do you get it to snap around? I was assuming you just tie a knot and then pull the knot up through and it would just stay. Oh, yeah, because so I think I've seen that around to wear. Nope. Oh, that's cool. And everything matches. The antique brass match the me? antique brass. <laughs> I'm um, the one that's already made the jacket. I think I need them for my jacket immediately. Um, well, I would need this one and the and the thing that matches it. You could use this right now and then repurchase it. For yeah, because I need the gold right now. Sweet. Thanks. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask for that twice. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, obviously it's a great favorite. This Lindsay's is awesome. Obsessed. Check yeah. out Pacific Trimming. They have a ton of other stuff too. They've yeah, because day, there's so many jackets out there that you need this stuff for. There's the Kelly Interact now. There's the um, Indie So, what's it called? Vest. The Lone Tree. Lone Tree. Yep. Um, the seam work, no, the, the, gosh, the collection that came out, Pacific collection who did that oh um she's now not doing it anymore yes. what's her name i can't so holly so a holly yeah pacific she, yeah, collection she had, had a jacket for that um in there that had a drawstring mm -hmm. um so yeah so many of these like you know sporty outdoorsy type of um patterns are coming out and this is this is stuff you need to make them yeah and it's cheap and it yeah. looks great i mean it looks good it doesn't look cheap at all yeah i am getting the closet case Kit, kit um, as a really, really generous thank you so for jealous. testing. Um, she <laughs> gave all of us testers the kit in addition to the pattern. It was really above and beyond. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm interested to compare what yeah. that looks like to what this looks like and kind of see. It is different because I looked at hers um, and her hardware did look different than this though. So yeah. I'm curious. Yeah, me too. Where do you get your guts? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. All right, that's cool. Yeah. So good, good. Okay, so my last one is sewing related, but it's not something you use to sew. And it is these really awesome mm -hmm. nail decals, sewing cute. nail decals. If you follow me on my personal Instagram, I posted a picture of my manicure I did see that. where I was able to put a sewing machine mm -hmm. and a needle and thread on my ring finger. I really wanted to put one on every finger, but the boyfriend vetoed it and <laughs> my manicurist was like, yeah, no, I'm not going <laughs> to let you walk around like that. You look like you're five years old. Um, but on this person's website, they don't just have sewing ones. She has probably hundreds. She has Sunny Maltese nail Did you decal. Get it? One hundred percent. Yes, it's a little Sunny with a little blue collar. Oh gosh. And then she, I got another one that is almost like your nail look like it's a Christmas gift, like it's a red strip with a bow, something kind of more simple. But I would have, I mean, I would have gotten so many of them. I was just wanting to see what they would be like and how you'd be able to use them. And mm -hmm. if my manicurist was going to do it for me, I wasn't <laughs> sure if he was going to, he was hesitant, but once we got into it, he was really excited. You could tell he <laughs> thought it was pretty cool. Um, 
Anyway, so yeah, it's just okay. something fun and kitschy, and nobody's noticed it or said anything. No? Mm -mm. Hmm. No, but um, I look down and I enjoy them. Oh, they make you happy when you sew too? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So in addition to the sewing machine and the needle and thread, there's also scissors, there's a pin cushion, and then there's a couple safety pins. So yeah, they come in two sizes, and they were really easy to apply. I thought I could probably do it on my own if I didn't go get my nails done. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, that's an October favorite. Cute! Mm -hmm. So my last thing is, once again, kind of related to everything else I've talked about in this video. We have talked about the YKK color card before, but it was like so long ago, and it's really come into use lately that I feel like it's worth revisiting. Uh, yeah. Because also with all these new patterns that are out right now, they require a zipper down the front. Yes. Um, and Joanne's carries like blue, black, white, cream. And theirs, you know what else I don't like about theirs? How heavy the zipper part mm -hmm. is. Like I want a lightweight, yeah, I want well, a lightweight metal. So this is from Zipper Stop. Zipper Stop also sells a ton of zippers. Yes. So um, you get this color chart and then you can match your fabric up to um, their little strips. Yeah, because the Indie Sew jacket does not have a zipper, mm -hmm. is it called a placket? Yeah. Um, the Kelly jacket does. But you would still see it if you had your jacket open. You'd still see that one side of yeah. the zipper. I'm really funny about matching zippers. Like, I really want it to be a good match. Um, so, Zipper Stop carries a ton of zippers. They don't have everything. Like, I wanted to use the brass hardware for my navy twill vest but they didn't carry the navy zipper in the brass finish, but they had the navy zipper in the gold, so I went with the gold. Um, but they did have it in black and um, some other colors. It's just a lim more limited selection with the brass. But um, they have a ton to choose from, and I thought it's just really helpful to help you match up a zipper. I, got, I went ahead and ordered all my zippers for my chai town skirt I'm gonna make and my chinos, so now they're gonna match. I don't have to use funky ones from Joann's. Are the zippers, when you order them, like sort of custom like this, are they um, very expensive? No, they're so cheap. Yeah, my they're cheaper than Joann's? Yes, yeah. my six inch zipper for my chai town skirt costs 50 cents. Oh, uh, well. 50 cents. And then the big zipper for my, um, my vest was 350. Mm -hmm. It's like really affordable, and the shipping wasn't bad either. The shipping was like three ninety nine because you know sometimes the places yeah. charge yeah. like ten dollars. I'm like, it's a zipper. Yeah, but yeah, it was three ninety nine. Um, I just got notification today that it shipped, and I ordered it like a day or two ago. So quick shipping, um, way bigger selection. And I figure this is what I told my husband the other night when we were <laughs> talking about it. The gas money it would take for me to go out to Joanne's True. to buy a zipper that doesn't even match equals the $4 shipping from Zipper Stop. And it'll be arrive at my doorstep in a few days. Yeah, that's true. Interestingly that's enough, I, I have <laughs> been putting off finishing a skirt because I need olive top stitching thread. And I keep telling myself, okay, I'll go to Joanne's. Okay, I'll go to Joanne's. Mm -hmm. In that time that it's been, I could have gotten just out my Guterman thread card and matched it perfectly yep. and just ordered it. It would have been here by yeah. now. And I would have finished up selling yes. my suede skirt. Yes. So it's also that. It's just like you keep putting mm -hmm. something off. because It's like 30 minutes just to get out there. Yeah, because of traffic pretty much. Yeah. I mean, it's only like really less than 10 miles. The yeah. traffic in Charleston is awful. Horrible. <laughs> horrible. So, so, and that's less time sewing when you have to sit in traffic. Right. And isn't Zipper Stop like family owned or something? I don't know. Like, a, a woman did call me because I tried to order the navy zipper in the color I wanted and I just wrote in the custom number which I thought I could do and I, apparently you can't. You have to order 25 of them if you do that. Oh. So she called me. Um, she called me on my phone and you know told me you know that I couldn't do that color and was willing to, you know, pick a different color that was similar. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, so that was good customer service. I mean, that was the, I ordered that night and she called me the next day. Yeah, so. that's awesome. Yeah, that's I don't awesome. mind supporting them. Cool, we'll see. I told you, or yeah. Abby told you, our <laughs> October favorites were awesome. Yeah, don't y'all think? Stuff. I hope they help you out. I'm so, I think, I think your favorites are awesome. Other and, and, <laughs> yeah, 100%. So, um, so yeah, thanks for watching our October favorites. Let us know something that you've been loving this month in the comments below. Mm -hmm. um, subscribe to us so you never miss an upload. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful. And follow us on our social media. 
yeah, that would be so awesome. And yeah. I'm so happy. So, um, yeah, we've got a lot of videos coming up. So we'll see you guys really soon. Bye. Bye.